In this video, we will learn about senses of engineering ethics. Completion students will be able to understand variety of moral issues and how moral problems arise. Senses of engineering ethics. The senses of engineering ethics are normative sense and descriptive sense. In normative sense, engineering ethics refers to justified moral values in engineering. The descriptive sense, social sciences study ethics, when they describe and explain what people believe and how they act. They conduct opinion polls, observe behavior, examine documents written by professional societies and uncover the social force shaping engineering ethics. Variety of moral issues. To some extent, we also need to consider his or her personal life from a moral perspective as personal and professional lives are interlinked. A person who thinks rationally and wants a clear conscience will face many situations in his or her professional life that would make him or her think about the ethically of his or her action. We can classify the moral issues faced by a professional into two major classes, namely microethical issues and macroethical issues. Skills required to handle moral issues. Actually, it's refer from Mike Martin and Ronald for details and types of inquiries. Our engineering ethics combines inquiries into values, meaning, and facts. The Vice of professional ethics is based upon our understanding of many aspects concerning our lives and the correct moral stand that we have to take. There is an outgoing search for the ethically correct action to be taken in a given situation in professional practices and changing continuously. Such inquiries can be categorized into three types in solving ethical problems are normative inquiry, uh, inquiry which are most central seeks to identify the values that should guide individuals and groups. Conceptual inquiry seeks to clarify important concepts or ideas, whether the ideas are expressed by single words or by statements and questions. Factual or descriptive inquiry seeks to provide facts needed for understanding and resolving values issues. Inquiries. Normative inquiry is probably the most significant inquiry that deals with developing norms of for professional conduct. Such inquiries must be supported by the clarity of concepts and principles encompassing the particular profession over its entire spectrum of activities. Such inquiry try to answer questions about what should be the correct nature of professional practice or what can be called a good professional practice. Normative questions are about what ought to be and what is good based on moral values. Normative inquiry deals with questions such as the following, what are the rights and responsibilities of a professional, when and how should a professional exercise his or her rights, and what are the obligations of professionals to the public as they perform their duties. Inquiries. Conceptual inquiries is related to the profession itself. It helps us understand the profession and its various aspects and implications better from an ethical point of view. It helps us to understand the concept and principles associated with the profession itself as they come up as duties and right of a professional. Some questions that can be answered by such inquiries of what is a profession, who is a professional, and what is meant by a professionalism, and what are the concepts and principles having a bearing on professional ethics that need to be defined and clarified. What kind of control or monitoring mechanism should be put in place to ensure ethical conduct by professionals? The concept and principles evolve and get clarified over a period of time with the experience from dealing with normal issues related to the profession. The ideas get fine-tuned with experience. 